Hello again. I recently took a trip out to Chester and uh, my intention was to spend a good few hours uh, walking around the city trying to grab some stills of the less tourist side of the city. Um, for those of you that don't know, Chester is incredibly popular with tourists from right around the world. Um, so I wanted to try and avoid the usual tourist traps, I suppose you'd call them. Um, but in actual fact, I had to cut it relatively short because um, I'm still rather sore from my um, operation a couple of weeks ago. So um, it wasn't a complete waste of time, however. I did finish off the uh, outing at Chester Cathedral and I thought it would be a good opportunity to try the Mark I version of the EM1 in the dark interior of the cathedral. So I took some stills in there and pushed the ISO up to 3200 just to see exactly how much noise I will get off micro four thirds and this relatively early sensor to be honest with you. Um, so as usual, although it's a little bit disjointed this video, um, there'll be some uh, stills taken out and about and I'll finish off by showing you some shots taken in the cathedral and then at the other end of the video um, we'll be back here in the uh, safety of my own place and you can see what happened to those images in post-production using AI in uh, on one photo raw so stay tuned and i'll see you soon lots of history um the roman settlement here was known as diva and these city walls date back to um, Roman times. They've been uh, rebuilt and hacked about a bit in the intervening centuries, but essentially they're Roman walls. It isn't actually raining at the moment, but it has been, and I occasionally get dripped on from the trees above. And we're just approaching one of the towers that guard various angles of the city walls. I'm hoping to get some stills today. Um, not quite sure how successful I'm going to be. I don't want to uh, do the usual tourist shots if I can possibly avoid it. I'm rather more interested in getting things like shots of this, the King Charles Tower, where allegedly King Charles I himself stood during the um, English Civil War, of course. So I'm going to stash the GoPro and see if I can get some stills while I'm here. Uh, just before I do that, if you look over my uh, right shoulder down there, you can see we're very close to the, uh, to the canal. But I'll see you soon.
well, taken a couple of shots, get rid of the water drops. I've taken a couple of shots by King Charles Tower and a little bit further along the walls. I'm heading back now towards the cathedral. So I'll see you shortly. So the Eastgate clock we're approaching now has to be one of the most famous landmarks in Chester, but it really isn't somewhere that you can visit daytime without being surrounded by tourists having selfies taken. I believe it's also a favorite spot for newlyweds to have a, a portrait taken. And as you can see, there are a few people up there now, so we'll give that one a miss. Now we're outside Chester Cathedral and I thought it might be a good opportunity to try some stills with the EM1 on very much higher ISO ratings. And then when I get back home, I can see what the noise level is like. Give me a bit of a baseline from which to work to and um, to um, show you guys how it performs. So I'll see you shortly. Oh gosh, well, depending on how I edit this, at least you'll know what time of day I was here in Chester. So I've just come out of the cathedral. I've taken everything I think at 3,200 ISO. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Uh, how much it will be straight out of camera, I don't know. But whatever it looks like, you guys are gonna see it. So without any further ado, I'm going to make my way all the way back to Liverpool. And next time I see you, I'll be sitting in front of my computer again. <laughs> see you shortly. Well, hello again. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that brief tour around the city walls, mainly in Chester and of course, finishing off at the cathedral. Um, just to wrap up this sort of half an hour, 20 minute video, I'm going to concentrate on showing you the results that I took um, in post-production uh, using On One Photo Raw 2022 version and their artificial intelligence. And I think you'll find it quite enlightening. It's impressed me, um, but I'll leave the decision up to you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Bear in mind, this is the Mark I version of the Olympus OMD EM1. So things have moved on quite substantially since this particular version was announced. Um, anyway, um, 16 megapixel micro four thirds sensor. Let's have a look what the results come out like. Now <clears throat> here, I thought I would start off by showing you uh, one of the images that I took in the um, side uh, sort of transept, I think you call it, of the cathedral. And this uh, 3200 ISO 
this is straight out of camera this is the raw image that you're looking at now straight out of camera i'm going to uh, i've activated i've done nothing to the exposure but i have accessed the um, no noise ai within on one photo raw and if i just slide this across you can see the kind of result that it will give quite a difference now i'm not please don't think i'm going to claim this to be perfection it's far from perfect but if you compare the left and right hand sides of this image um, you can see a huge difference um, by default um, the no noise ai does apply around about 10 percent of sharpening um, which in this case I'm, I'm quite happy with um, there are images i'm sure where the extra sharpening is not required in fact if i just reduce it now to zero mm, hardly noticeable to be perfectly honest with you let me crank it right up and see what happens yeah that's over 50 percent sharpening and it's it is too much by a long long way but somewhere around about 10 15 percent i think is is acceptable um so as i say i don't think it's a panacea for for noise in general but my goodness it can certainly uh, rescue an image that maybe only two or three years ago you would have had to delete because the noise would have been so obtrusive so i think i'm going to um, show you now some um, side by side comparisons just let me zoom out from this and then you can see the whole image um, it won't be anything like as obvious on screen but there we are that's with none of the sharpening applied halfway across the image and that's the full image with sharpening applied so i'm going to come out of that and i will show you now so i'll come out of that and show you these which um this is um, a centrally enlarged section of an image that was underexposed deliberately by me underexposed by nearly three stops so this is a 300 percent magnification of the center section of the image on the left hand side you can see how it came straight out of camera on the right hand side you can see it's corrected um, for exposure and also the noise reduction has been applied doesn't look quite as impressive does it at 300 percent but nevertheless uh, now the next image these are side by sides and for these final few images the one on the left will always be the straight out of camera version the one on the right is my edited interpretation using no noise ai and you know like it or not seems to me to do a pretty darn good job this is that one we've just been looking at um, it does make a definite difference um, this one the image on the left was actually taken with my camera pressed up to a very tiny pane of glass one of those very old um, uh, panes of glass one of those very old panes of glass that are nowhere near flat and nowhere near clean um, looking out into the center section of the cloister so the image on the left is um, badly degraded um, it just goes to show with a little bit of messing around you can rescue things like this it's been converted to monochrome obviously and it's been put through the no noise ai and boosted a little bit with regard to contrast and brightness so there we are i hope you've got something useful out of this video um i could have pushed the iso rating higher than 3200 but in all honesty uh, i'm i'm sort of working out the limitations of the camera from my own 
user's point of view and I honestly cannot imagine me needing anything above 3200 um, ISO for, for any sort of photography that I do nowadays. So I hope you found it um, enlightening, educational, I don't know, entertaining, hopefully. For now, I'm going to say, enjoy your photography, look after yourselves, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.